This is a new series where we look at the model ranges for various different lines, Space Marine chapters and different armies. And this is the first one, my favorite chapter, the Blood Angels. We're going to go all the way back in time to the first models and up to the present date and even look to the future. Let's get stuck into it. We're going to go back to 1991. Don't know if you remember that year. I wasn't born. But this is four years after the release of Rogue Trader, which was the very first Space Marine model in 1987, and one year after we saw the Mark VII Space Marines, I believe, in plastic. And uh, those are actually painted as Blood Angels, but the first Blood Angels miniature was in 1991, a year later, which was this guy. He's a captain. Um, feast your eyes on that, eh? It's got a lot going for it. It was just released as a metal model, Blood Angels Captain, and it was released around the same time as a bunch of other chapters, including the Ultramarines, which we can cover in a different series. Um, and this was the era of the back banner, and this guy was actually uh, also shown off with a back banner. Um, and note that, I think this is from White Dwarf or something, Tycho, even though he wasn't sold as Tycho, he was just sold as a Blood Angels Captain. And a few years later, we actually saw a dedicated Tycho model um, so clearly he was around in the law, but no, they're actually a bit different. Uh, very, very similar, but um, there are some notable differences. So we'll sort of get onto that. Um, and actually, 1994, three years later, until the next Blood Angel was released. And uh, this was a Death Company box. If any of you had this, let me know. I'm sure they're pretty rare, to be honest. But interestingly, this box came with a chaplain in the box. Um, so it was Death Company with a Death Company chaplain. And uh, yeah, there it is. That's the box. That's what it used to look like. 1994. Uh, came with a transfer sheet as well, interestingly. And uh, check out this guy here wielding a Kimbo sort of pistols, plasma, and bolter. And I found a little bit more about these guys uh, from Every Metal. This is what the promo stuff used to look like, White Dwarf or whatever. Um, and this was the era where the banners would actually see that page would be a printout and you would literally cut the banner out from that page and then stick it onto the model <laughs> things have changed a lot recently but yeah check out that shoulder pad detail that was um probably pretty groundbreaking for the time when these guys were released uh, i have to go so a couple of years later so five years after the first blood angel we've had two sets but in 1996 we got codex angels of death which was a dark angels and blood angels Codex supplement. Rumors of this sort of thing coming back, but check out that art. That's that is something um, seriously impressive. Um, and we got all of these characters. So we got Mephiston on the left, um, who was finally retired in 2019 when he got a new model. But interestingly, Brother Corbulo and Captain Tycho in the middle are still going, and Dante only just got a refresh this year. So, yeah, if you look at the very recent, like this week, 10th edition data sheets, that is the same model for Tycho, obviously, with a different paint job. And uh, same with Corbulo as well. That is the original 1996 model. So I, my guess is these models are some of the oldest models still you know, with rules into 10th edition. And maybe, maybe they'll get an update soon, maybe. Um, so if we go forward... Uh, a little bit more. Uh, in fact, this was the same year, 1999. Um, we got more generic sort of releases. So the Dreadnought was released a few years prior, and I guess it got a sort of Blood Angels kit, but I don't know if it was actually different from the uh, normal one. It might have just been marketed in a different way. Same with the Tactical Squad. The guy on the left is a, is a brother sergeant who was a uh, Blood Angels sort of model, but I'm not sure how particularly Blood Angels his details are. Maybe there's a blood drop on his chest there. Um, quite a famous model that one I think um, I've seen it painted up recently on Reddit on, by you know modern painters and on the bottom right is the Bal Predator um, again sort of released not too long after the Predator kit was released um, and again not that different but there are a few a few different maybe there was a different sprue in the kit or something like that so this was kind of the first wave Blood Angel army stuff that came um, and to go forward to third edition, this is when things got really good, I would say. And um, yeah, interestingly, I think this is probably where a lot of people might have started out with these models. Maybe if you collected at any point in the 2000s, you might have owned some of these models. These are known as the Honor Guard. 
And these guys kind of predated the Sanguinary Guard. They're a different unit, but they kind of... The Sanguinary Guard didn't exist, so this was the Blood Angels kind of special jump pack veteran unit. Um, and also the Death Company. These were metal models. But again, I think would hold up all right today compared to the Firstborn. They were just... Um, you know, just came out on metal. They look good. Nice detail. And I think, again, you may well own these models uh, if you collected at any point in the 2000s. And then uh, there were some characters that came out around this time as well. The Sanguinary Priest, which was retired eventually in 2014 with the new kit. Lamartes, he had a 10-year reign. Not sure about that model. It's quite similar to the old Dante model in pose. Looks very flat. Looks, uh, looks kind of interesting. Kind of like a uh, starfish helmet thing going on there. Not sure what I think about that. And this guy's interesting. You may not have heard of him. Leonatos. He was a 1999 Black Library limited edition uh, model. And there was a whole book, I think, about, or maybe even a series written about him. So you may may own those books. But the model itself is rare. There are only a thousand released. And uh, here, here it is. You got a certificate of ownership of the number that you had. And I suspect this guy may well go for a bit on eBay uh, these days, although I haven't checked. Leonatos. And now, for the next 10 years after 1999, there was one Blood Angels release, and it was in 2003. So I call this the Wilderness. Um, and it was just the Bal Predator. And this was the original Bal Predator kit that was replaced by a new one in 2010, although they're very, very similar. And uh, it was just essentially based off the new chassis that came in 2002 for the Rhino Razorback Predator, so they obviously had to update these kits. They wanted to move forward to the new design. And that's pretty much the only reason that Blood Angels got a model. Nothing else was updated. So yeah, the reason I call these the Wilderness Years was because it wasn't until 2009 with Space Hulk that Blood Angels got any attention at all in terms of the models. Um, but that may well be why some of these models are, um, are quite sort of well-loved by the community, because over that 10-year period where Warhammer was very popular. If you wanted Blood Angels, those are the models you're going to have. So that's why people did own them and uh, and, and played them and loved them. Space Hulk was actually released in 2009, which is interesting because I kind of associate it with coming a bit later, but there was a re-release in 2014. But the original Skulls were from 2009. And uh, yeah, I'm, I've talked about these before. People love them. They're great sculpts, but as I say, I mean, they're actually fairly old now, coming up to 15 years old, so, which is <laughs> quite incredible. Um, but they, they're they a little bit, uh, they have scale problems maybe compared to the new Terminator kits, but these still fetch silly money um, on eBay. And I own a couple of these models, and they are indeed very nice. But 2010 was the probably the biggest year for Blood Angels um, on record, I would say. I hope that's not too much of an exaggeration. But the 5th edition Codex Blood Angels was released this year. Um, so we're coming up to sort of 20 years after the first Blood Angels model, and you can see how far they've come. You probably own at least one of these models, if not all of them. Uh, the Sanguinal on the left, Astrath, Lamartes, and Gabriel Seth. Now, lovely sculpts, all released in metal initially, and they kind of moved to fine cast. So if you buy them now, I think they may well be in fine cast. Although I think a lot of these just got uh, removed from the web store, even though they all have 10th edition rules. So um, that's maybe interesting. And um, they're all quite small because from 2010, the models were obviously quite short. So compared to your Primaris, they still look a bit short, but these are, okay, these are modern sculpts, very... Very nice, very detailed. Uh, clearly a, a huge improvement on the sort of 90s figures. But interesting, they didn't really update any of the 90s figures. They just added new ones. Um, very few Blood Angels models have had two sculpts. Um, and only very recently have we seen that. Uh, but this year, that I mean, the main reason that, that, that this year was the big one for the Blood Angels was, was this. And um, this is the Death Company kit which you can still buy today. It's the same one that has the jump packs um, and the, the chainsaws and the uh, whatever, the, the thunder hammer, the power swords, the inferno pistols, but also just the bolters and the, the standard foot foot guys. And uh, and the sanguinary guard, which is still a, a hugely popular kit that's, that flies off the shelves even today. Um, the only issue with these kits at all is probably the scale, quite short, quite small legs, but 
they're very very nice kits i i recommend them still um they're, they're fun they're very detailed they have lots of options and they look good so that this was probably the the single biggest release that blood angels got i mean these are the two units right that, that, that they needed this is these are the iconic units and these are probably the iconic sets for them um and and they also uh that year the, the bell predator was refreshed you can see minor differences between these models but but that, that's really it there really are only small differences it wasn't you know it wasn't a redesign it was just a couple of small details were changed you can see on the front and on the guns and whatever uh 2011 uh there was one release which was the dreadnought kit now this is a furioso death company and librarian dreadnought i recommend these models i, ha I own all of them they are they are good they obviously have some new interesting rules in 10th edition and uh yeah, it's a nice box. It's actually a single box which has all three in them. So it's kind of like the Dreadnought body with different faceplates and a few different weapon options. Um, quite a smart kit. And yeah, I mean, for 2011, it's very good. But yeah, I mean, it's not it's not a Primaris for Dreadnought, right? It's still pretty small. But I don't think this kit's going away. Games Workshop have retired the old box naught, but they said that these are going to stay. So I think we'll see this kit being printed for probably years to come, which is which is good if you want to get hold of it. Um, but 2011, it's it's yeah, it's you know it's getting on now. Um, 2014 was the seventh edition, and I would describe this as a glow up for the Blood Angels. Um, we got these characters, which I suspect you own at least one of, if not all of them. Um, sorry, and uh, you know, left to right, we've got the the Death Company Chaplain, uh, the Sanguinary Priest. Now, scale wise, these guys are a bit better than the sort of 2010 characters. They're a bit bigger. And they look a bit better you know, in a Primaris army. And then we've got these Terminator characters too. Terminator Librarian, which I think is probably the strongest sculpt here. And Carlion, which maybe isn't quite as good a sculpt, but, but is, a, is a kind of well-loved captain of the first company. I hope uh, I hope we get some sort of re-sculpts for these, especially with the new Terminator kits. Um, I think these could be, you know, big, uh, big releases now going forward. But I'll talk more about that going forward. Uh, you know, towards the end of the video, the Blood Angels uh, in 2014 also got two massive kits, really, um, and and actually gorgeous kits, to be honest. The Tactical Squad and the Terminators, the Assault Terminators. And if you've ever owned or worked with these kits, they are an absolute joy. But unfortunately, the Tactical Squad got. They stopped selling it years ago. They only sold it for for a couple of years, I think. I don't I don't know why. It's probably one of the best squads, multi part sets Games Workshops made, and these things go for a lot of money on eBay um, because they're so rare, and but obviously because they're so good as well. Um, the Terminators they were still being sold until quite recently. They may well die out with the new terminators but hopefully they won't die out until they're replaced by say a blood angels assault terminator squad in the new scale that we've seen in the new box set that would be that'd be the dream really wouldn't it that'd be the dream um but these were the last releases that blood angels got um for firstborn that this was it this was the end of the blood angels firstborn era and quite possibly We'll never see any more Blood Angels Firstborn again, or maybe we will. Who knows? What do you think? Um, but then we have to go to 2017 for the next releases, which were the Primaris era. So we're now in the Primaris era. And uh, this is what we've got. Um, we got a generic lieutenant in 2017, like many of the other chapters. 2019, we got Mephiston, which is really as good as it had got until, until this year for us. Um, I mean, he's great. <laughs> like... The Fiston is a very nice model. And we also got an upgrade sprue, which is kind of also sold as part of this Death Company box, which is which is just intercessors with an upgrade sprue. So wouldn't really recommend that one, but the upgrade sprue itself, I mean, it's fine. It's, it's limited, it's small. Hopefully we'd get a new one, like, say, the Templars, but for now, you know, it's okay. And that was it. So for, for 10 years, nearly, those were the only Blood Angels releases until this year, where we got Dante. Now, I own this model. He's very nice. I haven't painted him yet. 
Uh, he's been hard to get hold of, which I think is a good sign. People liked him, right? And finally, <laughs> this model took 27 years <laughs> to get a new one, which is about the same age as me. So <laughs> it's a very long time. Um, yeah, I mean, Blood Angels have got unlucky in, in some respects. They they really did have some of the oldest oldest characters until until this and uh i think this guy has done well i think he's a he's a very nice model so hopefully we see some more now what are the likely updates into the future this is you know what's you know just speculating at this point really um but i think uh characters are certainly high up on the list because if you look at some of the other refreshes james workshop will do the characters and usually it's uh you know they they go primaris right the, the character got got wounded in battle and then had to have the primaris procedure it's very simple to write into the law and and it's nice the models sell really well for them so Tycho is dead i don't think we'll be seeing him but i mean amazingly he's got rules in 10th edition so i'm not quite sure what they're doing there but i kind of expected him to, to go but but he didn't corbulo i think um would be a really good candidate for a, a primaris model same for Lamata, same for Astroth. I think at least two two out of those three will will get some attention eventually and, and probably go Primaris, but when? <laughs> I have no idea. The Sanguinary Priest and the Death Company Chaplain are probably the two main Blood Angels specific non named characters. And I expect that those those will, you know, eventually be released as as kits, but maybe not. Um I think maybe not the chaplain. There are a lot of generic chaplain models so you could just say oh, okay well that can be a death company chaplain but sanguinary priest i think would probably have to get its own release at some point now we are expecting primaris jump packs at some point and i think they will precede the blood angels releases and hopefully following that we could get our own kit with the same jump packs such as death company or maybe sanguinary guard you can see dante has the primaris jump pack style but it's kind of with blood angels details maybe the sanguinary guard would get a similar similar thing at some point but i think these kits still sell quite well and maybe it's these kits selling really well which kind of might delay the new release um which could be uh well they're they're almost um blood angels fans are almost hurting themselves i think by keep buying the sanguine guard keep buying the death company games watch say okay well we don't need to release the uh the new ones because the old ones still sell really well so we maybe got a bit unlucky in terms of the timing of the kit releases, but whatever. They're still good. Anything else? Maybe. What do you think? Let me know. It's possible we'll get some new units. Um, this is something Games Workshop have been doing a bit. With They'd like to release some new style of units. I can't... You know, maybe the Honor Guard come back. That could be a thing. Um, maybe we see something completely different. Who knows? Okay. That's it. That's the Blood Angels range. It, I may have missed a model. I may have missed uh, a couple of models, but I think I've covered it pretty well. Um, channel updates. Thank you for a thousand subs. That's that's awesome. And uh, now I've hit a thousand subs. You can become a member. So if you would like to support this channel, I do various content, like different, different things. Um, you can do that. And I'd appreciate that immensely. I think in terms of exclusive member content, the first thing that's going to be exclusive will be some short painting video guides um, just with a few you know, little guides about how I do things, little techniques, but I think nothing too generic. I think they'll be actually quite useful. Um, I have an Element Games affiliate link for Discount Warhammer in the UK, which you can find in the description or on my channel, which also supports me. And uh, you know, if you haven't subscribed, do. I make lots of content. And this guy on the right is the um, is kind of a preview for my upcoming video, which I think you'll like. Um, this is um, a guy I've been painting up, so he's still still work in progress. But the the video will go into it a bit more. It's not going to be a painting guide; it's going to be a more like a sort of discussion video about types of models. I think you'll like it. So thank you so much, and enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>